time to unbox the Pixel Buds Pro. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. But good thing, it has these little quick tabs. And those are the ear tips. Little manual. And that's a clicky button and seem to reset. roughly the size of a thumbnail. So it's black, it's got two vents, as you can see. Another, looks like a microphone vent there. And just the earbud itself with the two charging connector. And that must be the little proximity sensor. Cool you out. In terms of the charging case, it's nothing really much that you haven't seen before. So it's got a very satisfying click, I gotta say. And uh, time to try them out. This is pretty clicky. That's pretty good. Uh, Pixel Buds Pro. Now, I do regularly use the AirPods Pro, even though I use Android devices. Oh, this one's clicky too different kind of click. This one's a bit more solid at the top, but this one feels, it's a, it's a louder snap. And I use the Sony XM3s as well as a daily driver. Uh, as you can see, the, that's probably, the actual Pixel Buds Pro is roughly the same size. It's slightly wider than the AirPods Pro case, but it's a, uh, less square so it's probably the same volume it's about it's a slightly bit thicker but comparable this one is still a bit smaller in terms of uh foldability but yeah this one definitely feels heavier so i'm assuming it's got a bigger battery but it's nowhere near the size of the xm3s the fours obviously have a different style case i don't have those it's much slimmer so Slightly bit bigger. Now, I've been using these to make phone calls and whatnot for the last little while. I'm not a big fan of the Storks, but it does have the best sound quality so far. So I'm curious as to how this will go. In terms of pairing, I'm just gonna start screen record on there. Okay, when I switched to screen recording, it did not pick up any of the audio. So this is me just coming back around, opening up the Pixel Buds for the first time and getting the quick pair screen. I'll fast forward through the rest of it, which involves downloading the app, putting the earbuds in, and it plays a little uh, tone to set up the earbuds, and basically check the seal, after which you can configure the touch controls. So that's this speed up. My cat's gonna do zoomies, so I'm just gonna walk away to make sure that it's coming from the audio from the Pixel Buds. I'll turn around, so if it sounds softer, it won't be. So I'm using Filmic to film this. This is the audio quality in a quiet environment. Nothing's happening in the apartment except for my cats running around. So this is testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This time around, I'm not sure if you can see, I've got the AirPod Pros in. Ugh. So I'm gonna step back again so that I will check these footage. If I turn around and it gets softer, then I've configured the mic wrong, but I think this should be right. This is the AirPods Pro audio quality from the microphone recording directly to the camera. So this should be a not a bad representation of how it goes with cool. Okay, this should finally work. 
This is the Pixelbuds Pro in a noisy cafe environment, laying from this Bung and Olufsen, so facing towards the camera, turning around just in case the direction of the noise makes a difference. This is testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we've been playing with these for about the last, call it maybe 40 minutes. Overall, I really like them. It's, uh, the fit seems to be better for my ears anyway than the AirPods. So I didn't go for a run or anything, but just walking around, I noticed that with the AirPods Pro, I'd have to fiddle and kind of push it back into the ear. These ones were sitting much, much better. The noise cancelling, I'm not sure I can say it's better or worse. It's different. The AirPods seem like they drop the overall volume. But whatever these things do, the volume isn't as low, like when I was playing the cafe noises in the background, etc. It was a bit more noticeable uh, in terms of the volume, but the actual sound was attenuated more so that it just sounded like more closer to white noise than not. Whereas the AirPods, the noise cancelling sounded lower, like the overall volume was lower, but you could it would spike a bit more. So if there was any variance to it, you'd kind of notice it, like it would catch your attention more. So this is just with the, ear, uh, the, the earbuds in without actually playing any music through it. When you play something else through it, then they're about a much of a muchness. Um, so fit, much better. Noise cancelling is just a bit different. Audio quality wise, initially I thought the bass was punchier, but it just, I tried it with a few different tracks. And I have to say that I was a bit surprised compared to even the, um, so this one is a bit more bass heavy whereas both the AirPods and the Pixel Buds Pro are a bit more accurate and I have to say I overall like the sound of the Pixel Buds over the AirPods. The AirPods didn't sound as full but I wonder if that's because the tips on this one just seems to fit my ears better. So your mileage here might vary a bit but overall I quite like it. One gripe I have is I quite like the all white aesthetic of the the AirPods, I should say. The black stripe, look, it adds a bit of character, but I don't know. I think I would have just liked it all white, but I think it was going to be different. Or if they had uh, all the colors as a different sort of highlight, so you know, you could get the sage with a bit of a sage tint. One thing about it is the actual coating, it's kind of like this uh, matte white kind of droopier substance uh, as compared to the airpods I, I was just filling up um, my fountain pen had a bit of ink and although i rubbed it off now this one kind of stained a bit more easily than the airpods did i was holding both of them that one we had a thing but it could uh, it got a few stains but you could wipe it off this one needed a bit more effort so i wonder if it's gonna kind of get a bit more discolored over time a bit more frequently multi-point worked great so I've got it paired to the phone that you've got that I'm recording on at the moment, as well as my laptop. And switching between the two was super easy. You just play the music and it just switches. So overall, as an initial sort of a first impression, yeah, I'm quite a fan. I think these are going to be my new daily drivers. I have also ordered the newer phones, but yeah, that's a later story. Um, USB-C uh, and wireless charging. The biggest thing about them is that. There is no charging port or anything, so this relies on you having a USB-C cable, which I suppose everyone else does now, or a wireless charger to charge them. Um, so far, in about, what, yeah, not quite an hour of using them, uh, charge dropped to about nine, about 5%. So overall, uh, I will have a play with them a bit more and give you a more thorough hands on and an update in the coming videos. But for now, this has been the uh, Pixel Buds Pro. All right, bye.